ugly map. It's like Escape from the City. You're on the Sonic maps. Yeah, it plays on Green Green. Oh, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, like Green Hill Zone. Those are the green. Whatever, Green Hill Zone, same thing. Oh, no, Green Zone. I don't know Sonic yeah, that well. You're all wrong, man. I'm a Nintendo kid, not Sega. <laughs> so I don't know. Well, they're all one and the same here. Let's get back to the match as he gets caught with a nice side view, sending, sending him down. But Inkling's got quite a bit of that paint stacked up already. Mm -hmm. What is Jam looking for to beat this Inkling's agility here in this matchup? He wants to hit him really hard. <laughs> that, that is the goal of most heavies in this game. They want to hit them fast and very hard. <laughs> but realistically, Ganon loses this neutral game like nine times out of ten. So, again, really, my statement stands. He just wants to hit him really hard. As you just said. Yeah. There, right there, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Amiibo King uh, knocking him off stage. He should be able to make it back. Yes, he does. It looked like he went for the footstool there, but didn't quite get it on Amiibo King. Oh, he's dead. I'll be honest, I think more so than like any, any player in this tournament, Amiibo King has just been especially brutal with his like off-stage off punish. It's, yes. it's incredible. Like he's, he's gone to just chase them just to the depths of the stage because he knows that he can recover he's so strong and he can get back so efficiently. Just but When in doubt, just throw it out. There it is. He's dead. <laughs> get bodied. No. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's doing the objective that he exactly wanted to, just hit him fast and hit him strong. Oh, as as he, he almost hit him with that downer, but he's coming back because we ain't clean and we are uh, both broken character boys. Uh, with the spike there for a hot second, but gets caught in the grab. Once again, you say, just as you said, if you're jammed, losing the neutral game pretty hard. Try to, ooh, goes for the Dordia, but uh, the, does not land it. Charging at that side smash is really greedy here. I don't oh, he's dead. Much value out of it. Ooh. Or not. I thought no, he's not Amiibo King back. was going to... Yeah, he's not. Yeah, Interesting that Amiibo King, one, opted to hit him that direction, two, opted for side smash over the up smash there. <laughs> but, uh, I, I think he knew that he could just send him, at least the distance would get him, because, like, Ganon's horizontal recovery is, like, subpar. It's not, yes. like, it's not insane. Yeah, no, he spaced that wrong. He needed to be a little bit further back, so Amiibo King wouldn't be able to roll like that. Regardless, the door, yeah, was pretty strong there. Oh, this is another door yet. Okay. Let's see, the bomb applying a lot of pressure here. Jam really needs to find an opening here. Oh, he's taunting. I think he might have given up. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. And yeah, Inkling just closed it out there. We yeah. Yeah, and right. Inkling just winning that neutral game. Are we going to see Jam here maybe consider a different character I pick? think Jam might need to give up on his uh, baby boy Ganondorf for a second. <laughs> uh, I, against yeah. Inkling, of all characters, he's just all over you the entire time. You won't get the room to hit him really hard. Yeah, I don't think any King's going to give him any space here, any opportunity to actually punish him right now. But He's sticking with it. He's sticking with the Ganondorf. I guess he thinks he can hit him really hard. Is there any stage option that helps him out here? Triplat. Yeah, I guess that's the only way they can start trying to bully him. And we'll see where they're going. <laughs> All right, well, they're, they're sticking it with Pokemon Stadium. All right, I guess if, let's see how he hops to play here. I think he may opt to play just a little bit more calculated, force Inkling to take these yeah. aggressive trades. I think what he needs to be doing, Ganon's one of his best aerial options is his Nair, and I haven't seen Jam use that enough. It's fast enough to compete with some of the moves Inkling has, and its lag is almost non-existent. He got most of his secures with that down air pressure, though. Ooh, he catches in a nice side grab that gets canceled by the bomb. A really good guard there by Inkling. Yeah. Also, the speed difference. Ooh, Ooh, good forward air going all the way down there to get him off. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. That pressure from Amiibo King is just insane. Keeps him pressured off the ledge all day. He's done this to every person he's in. He can count it all the way up the ladder here in the tournament. Another thing to take into consideration with this match is the speed differential between these two characters, which is only amplified by the ink that ink he leaves on the ground. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, but he finds the up air, and I mean, they're basically even, because you spawn at death percent when you're fighting Ganon. That's absolutely uh, true. One full charge Doria, and you're some sort of... You're, you're dead. Yeah. Doria. Yeah. <laughs> you're, like, you're leaving the tournament. You're gone. Absolutely. Uh, he's Ooh. dead. Is he going to find his way out? No, he no, he's sent dead. off stage. Oh, and a Mevo King with a taunt. Oh, but Jam responds. <laughs> Tries to match yeah. the taunt. I don't he know gets if he punished can come back for it. from here. I think Jam's just having fun, you know? He's enjoying his time on stage, having fun in the tournament, you know? I think I would at this stage, too. Yeah, he did pretty well for maybe, playing a character with Ganondorf. Maybe would have opted for the Piranha Plant. 
plant like, gang. Yeah, the, plant gang. The, plant, the plant gang may have plant had gang. to represent here. Maybe we'll see him in finals. We don't know. Oh, here, and yeah. Amiibo King takes it within a forwarder, ending the stock at Super Saiyan percent. <laughs> yes. Absolutely crushing the competition now here. Amiibo King is seeming like he's going to mop up the loser's brackets pretty quickly. Find if his it way continues back to how it is, yeah. But um, remember, this is the loser side, so even if he finds his way back to play whoever uh, the winner's finalist was. Um, I believe, do, we have, do we have Suna matched up there? I, think I so. believe I think. it is Suna, yes. Yeah. He's going to have to take uh, two sets off of Suna to win the tournament. Mm -hmm. Right? Definitely. So going forward, it looks like Amiibo King will be staying. Who's next? Patch, it appears, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So let's see, uh, Patch, we've seen a lot of his Pokemon trainer today. Mm -hmm. Ivysaur has really been the uh, main component of that, the strongest one uh, on that team of three Pokemon. He's really been playing those tri-stage uh, stages really well. Every single time I've mm -hmm. seen him on it, he guards the platforms with that uh, up smash and just really baits people into the uh, upper recovery yeah, the path. the utility of his um, up air, down air, to just cover the entirety of platforms, as well as his killing with Vine Whip, he's so consistent with that. Yeah, it's just incredible, and he always starts with that squirrel pick, gets his early pressures and juggles in, but then always tries to stop that charge for that big hit when he needs to send them out. It's the same thing as yeah. playing against the Ganondorf, is you've got that versatility and immediate juggle pressure that like P2 provides, and then you can swap that out with that you're at any percent, you're at kill percent yeah. with Charizard. But we are going to see the Ethan versus Pokemon trainer, as we've talked about here. Let's see if the Nebo can match Starting up Starting on Triplat, I do believe... This works well for both characters, but I think it might be a little bit better for Squirtle, who needs some help with combo extension. Who do you, what, what, what of the three do you think he's going to stay on the most here to match up Inkling? Like, what, what are his I weaknesses? I truly think that Ivysaur does the best against Inkling. Um, Squirtle, with all of that ink on him, he'll take too much knockback and damage, and he'll die too quickly. Ivysaur has a good modest weight that'll let him live longer than Squirtle. And um, Charizard, at the same time, is just combo food. That's really the not an option. The same thing as with the Ganondorf matchup. Yeah. Yeah. Too slow. But um, I do think Squirtle can compete with Inkling, but I think Inkling is, uh, does win this matchup. I mean, we're seeing it right here. He's matching up really evenly with him, surviving most of the trades. Yep. But will he take <laughs> take the risk and then swap off to the uh, Ivysaur or potentially the Charizard here? Yeah, I think he really goes to Ivysaur when he starts to look for his kill confirms is the biggest thing. So we'll probably see that switch within the next couple. Yep, there it is. Yeah, because I don't think he needs to greet out for the Charizard damage here because odds are he's just probably never going to get a hit as yeah. Charizard. Because if he does, he, it's a really greedy option. He might go Charizard if he lives to around the 130% range because there's a chance he might take some hits that Ivysaur wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But um, that's really the only time we're going to see that. Right, nice. Might be looking for a vine whip. No, Ooh. just raw up air. There we go. That's what we were talking about there. <laughs> the up air and the up smash is just all, all day from this Ivy sword. All right, so if we're going to see Charizard, it's going to be time for that soon if he gets hit like one more time. Ooh, this is in a little bit of a juggle there. Will he want to cap the damage, but nah, he's done. Yeah. He's gotten, caught in that immediately. Yeah. He's gotten caught in that roller quite a few times. <laughs> so that's smart from Patch, though. He acknowledges that Charizard's matchup here is, like, unfavorable, so he opts to stick with only the Squirtle and the Ivysaur, which, when you think about it, really makes sense. The rotation, while you still have your invincibility frames, you can swap back to Squirtle from Charizard after you die with Ivysaur. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And he's really only looking at Charizard if he needs to stack up that damage. Be really risky as soon as he's already secured the stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, we see Ivysaur already out here. He's, his Amiibo King is sitting at 117%, definitely in kill percentage yeah. for this uh, Ivysaur. He sends a, uses a grab to send him off stage. Down air, doesn't catch him. Oh, but he reads the get up option and punishes with a forward smash. Really, really good spacing on that left guard, too. We saw that mistake come out last game, not really understanding that spacing ball, but man. Yeah. Patch doing it really well here. And obviously what we were saying, the whole strategy is to start with Squirtle and build damage, then go to Ivysaur for the kill. But as we're seeing right here, Ivysaur does have his own combos, just not to the degree of Squirtle. So he still can build damage here. But you see even right here, he's getting really prone to taking a lot of this juggle damage. It's I just want to say he took 30 from the up smash. <laughs> um, definitely a powerful hit. Right it, it definitely was. But I think he's just going to have to stay on the Ivysaur here. His uh, Noodle King is already sitting at 70% right now. Mm -hmm. Patch has just got to catch him in another one of these smashes. He's, he's read him pretty well here. He's yeah. Catch him in these up oh, smashes. I saw Ooh, the up close. air coming. I thought he would do it a little earlier. 
very close on that read right there, but he's trying to just keep some zone here and then just look for that final punch around one of these stages. He has to go Charizard. Oh, he Ooh. made it. What a good catch. I did not think that would reach that far. Can he keep the left guard up right here and get Probably the down? Probably does not get the down here, but again, reads the same get up option. Did it just again. What a good read I catch. His spacing on his left guard is going incredibly well. And I feel like with, with characters like Pokemon Trainer, Mm -hmm. Amiibo King can't pressure him off the stage that hard because the recovery options are just so good getting back. Yeah, with like the Swedish swap so he can go in between Ivysaur and Charizard for the extra recovery there. And plus Vine Whip, it's a very hard recovery to punish if he's able to attach to ledge with it because it's just so fast and zipping an Ivysaur back to the stage. So what do you think Amiibo King's gonna change up here to really match this Pokemon trainer? Because definitely Patch is sticking with this option. Yeah, so what's happening right now, he's matching the Squirtle pretty well in racking up the damage, but he's getting out zoned by the Ivysaur is what I feel like the issue is right now. He needs to find a way to get past everything that Ivysaur is throwing out and um, get his own punishes in there. Absolutely. I think Inkling's just going to try and stay aggressive on this because he knows the squirrel is there to survive this neutral game until he can stack enough damage to swap that Ivysaur. But. Mm -hmm. Another solution would be if he can out damage Squirtle by a big enough margin and kill him before he goes Ivysaur, that would be another ideal scenario. But um, as we're seeing, that's really hard to do. <laughs> Definitely just a tough matchup overall for him, but they're staying pretty even in the damage matchup, but it seems at the end of the day, like, this is favorable for Patch right now. This is what he wants. He wants to stay, like, stacked in damage with him, because he knows if Amiibo King gets and a lead at all. And there's the Ivysaur swap. Yeah, there it comes. Because he knows Amiibo King gets any bit of percentage lead here. He's going to pressure him. He's going to force him to the ledge, and he's going to make it so he can't get any of these aggressive, uh, yeah. like, up airs or anything, like we just saw right there. Their percents still are about even, though. Ivysaur, if he gets hit by Roller, probably will die if he's at the edge. I don't know if Up Smash will kill quite yet. It might. Ooh, dies what to down smash. Roll, though. Yep. Reason not like that. Goes Charizard. Are you going to use the Charizard? This might be a little greedy here. Does he get punished for it? Gets caught in a pretty big jab chain there, but... I mean, I agree with this decision because Squirtle wouldn't be able to kill here, but Charizard can most definitely kill here. That's the thing. Um, but he's taking a lot of unnecessary damage, so that's a lot of ground his Squirtle's gonna have to make up. Yeah, Amiibo can definitely he opts the Squirtle. Him, but, ooh, I think this, this nice jab lock. Ooh. That was that's the first one we've s not the first one we've seen today, but what a, what a that's my favorite stag. one. <laughs> that was so nice. Yeah. We th we thought it was it had, it had this in the first half. Not gonna lie, with the Charizard pickup, but ooh. Yeah, that was, that was saucy. He's still down 100%, and even as you see, he's not opting to go Ivysaur because he needs to build the percent. Mm -hmm. And he knows, like, it's risky here with the Squirtle, and he might just get one shot off the yeah, side of the stage just dead. like that, but he's opting for more of the survivability uh -huh. here. He's back on the Ivysaur. Right. So now we're going to have to really see if he can bring this back with Ivysaur. Um, ideally, he might switch back to Squirtle if he takes the stock with low enough percent. Um, going from here, he is winning the neutral right now. Uh, gets jabbed, knocked off stage. He's coming back though, goes the Ivy Sword. Uh, okay. Stacks up quite a bit of the pressure though. He hasn't managed to land. Every time he's gone for that, he's hit Amiibo King with it. Absolutely. That spacing on his, <laughs> his charge there, I think just Amiibo King is getting a little too greedy and antsy trying to get back to the stage and mm, demand that recovery. For it. But he's got to realize that like once he makes it back to the ledge and dodges that uh, that down air, like he's pretty safe. Like He just needs to get back over top, gain that middle ground, and keep winning that neutral. Mm -hmm. For sure. Let's see, uh, starting now, I mean, it's still possible for Patch to win this match, but it's not looking good because Inkling, yeah, he's at kill percent if he gets too much ink on him. Stacked a lot of damage here, but can he chain him into a little bit of a jump up here? Throws him here we go. Down to the up That's air. the start of it. Beautiful. There we go. Stack kill. There oh! it is. Not. Oh, he lives. Oh, he He's lives coming back. He's coming back. Is he with him to that? Oh, and he recovered, every but time. he does the read once oh. again. Absolutely Patch has incredible. hit him with that every time. What an insane Impressive. Impressive. Patch. Even through all of that, he held his nerves. He stayed through it, and he read him again. It's like the yeah, it fourth all, time The momentum match. shifted all off of that one grab that Patch landed.